A man linked to the fatal Orchard Road hotel brawl, in 2023, was sentenced to more than a year's jail after pleading guilty to several offences, including punching and kicking another man during the fight. On June 25, Shavin J. Nair, 25, pleaded guilty to one charge of voluntarily causing hurt to Mr. Muhammad Isret Muhammad Ismail, who died following the brawl at Concord Hotel Shopping Mall. Shavin also admitted to one charge each of voluntarily causing grievous hurt and voluntarily causing hurt in separate incidents in 2022 and one charge of possessing a stun gun when he was not authorized to do so. He was sentenced to 12 months and 8 weeks jail and fined $2,000 for his offenses. Mr. Isret suffered multiple injuries during the brawl in the Orchard Road area and was unconscious when taken to hospital, where he died. To date, more than 10 men have been charged over their alleged involvement in the brawl. Among them is Asvain Pekhon Pillai Sukumoran, 29, who is facing a murder charge for allegedly killing Mr. Isrit. Shavin is the first to be convicted and sentenced in relation to this case. Deputy Public Prosecutor Kathy Chu said that on August 20, 2023, Shavin went to Club Rumors at Concord Hotel Shopping Mall with a group of friends. The prosecutor said the group belonged to a secret society called Aung Sun Tong Jalan Keu Depo. During this time, Mr. Isret and his friend Muhammad Sharunism Osman arrived at the same club. They were from a secret society called 369 Kalang Airport, which is a rival to the secret society that Shavin was in. Sharunism, 31, faces four charges, including voluntarily causing hurt with a dangerous weapon. The DPP said Mr. Isret, a former bouncer at Club Rumors, was there to distribute his wedding invitation cards to the staff. At around 6 a.m., as the club began to close and patrons started to leave, Mr. Isret and Sharonism shouted vulgarities in Malay aimed at Shavin's group. Shavin's group confronted Mr. Isret and Sharonism, and Mr. Isret punched a swing. Pushing and shoving ensued between both groups as they moved towards the open area in Cromart Lane, behind Concord Shopping Mall. Shavin then punched and kicked Mr. Israt, causing him to fall. Sharonism took out a bread knife he had tucked into his pants and slashed Shavin's arm with it. He also slashed others in Shavin's group. Mr. Israt and Sharonism then ran back into Concord Shopping Mall as members of Shavin's group chased them. While Sharonism went back into club rumors, Several members of Shavin's group attacked Mr. Isret, culminating in a Svein, stabbing him multiple times, said the DPP. The DPP said Shavin did not follow his group back into Concord Shopping Mall as his arm was bleeding. He went to Tan Tok Seng Hospital and lied that he had been injured in a fall. He was subsequently arrested there. In her submissions, DPP Chu said that while Shavin did not take part in the attack in Concord Shopping Mall during which Mr. Isret was stabbed, the bruises on the victim's forearms, neck and head can be attributed to the actions of Shavin and co-accused. For his offences, she sought a sentence of 12 to 15 months and 9 to 11 weeks jail and a $2,000 to $3,000 fine. In mitigation, defence lawyer Ramesh Tiwari urged the judge to note that the vulgarities used by Mr. Isret were racially charged and highly derogatory. He added that his client fully cooperated in police investigations and has since dissociated himself from other group members. Those convicted of voluntarily causing hurt can be jailed for up to three years, fine up to $5,000, or both.